I'm going to have to set up rental items to charge for. So I'm going to say, all right, let's go to the lists drop down. Let's go to the items. Now, what kind of things might we rent? We might rent each piece of equipment separately. I might say each guitar has cost this much. I might say each amp costs this much. Each drum set costs this much. And that's one way that you can set it up. And I could like set up each of those individual items and possibly take those individual items and then make a group out of them. In other words, just realize that you could set up multiple different items and then go to your items drop down and new items. And you could try setting up like a group of items here. And within the group, you can pull in, you know, multiple items and you might pull in like two guitars and an amplifier and whatnot. And then you'll build them out as like one kind of group amount. So just note that you have that option. But I'm not going to do it that way here. What I'm going to do instead is say that I'm going to close this out, that we're going to enter one item, which is a standard group price. So we're going to say, yeah, that you can get two standard guitars, a, a drum set, and an amplifier, and some, some microphones or whatever is going to be the standard set. And we'll sell that for one price instead of saying I'm going to sell, I'm going to rent out one guitar at a time or anything like that. We're going to say, hey, this is the standard set. If you don't need all that stuff, it's still the same price. And if you need if you need more than that, maybe you can add on. We'll have some add on items. So that's going to be our thought process here. So I'm going to set up an item for like a set that they might need for, you know, a weekend. So we're going to say add a new item. And so I'm just going to say it's a service item. And I'm going to call it band, let's call it band set number one. And so I'm going to just say this is the standard band set for number one. You've got a pick maybe of some standard guitars. And if you want to up up the level, level up the guitars, then it would be an add-on. You got a, a standard amp, you got a standard drum set and so on. I'm going to say it's 2000. I have no idea what the price would be for something like this. I'm going to say 2000 and I'm going to say it's non-taxable because it's not an inventory item. And I could put it into service item again, and that might be appropriate because remember, every time we set up these items on the income statement, we want to think, should I just put it into service items and then uh, break out the, the detail in the sub ledgers or the sub reports, which can break out by what we actually sold. I could do that, which would break it out by this item here. Or maybe I'm saying, well, the, I think this is significant enough to have another line item for the things that we rent on the actual income statement. That's what we'll do here. Let's do that here. I'm going to say new item and I'm going to say this is going to be, let's say it's equipment rental income. Hopefully I spelled that right. I'm not sure. I'm not even going to check it. I'm going to say that's good. And it's an income item. So I wanted an income. So I'm going to say save it and close it, save it and close it. And that looks good. Okay. So now